What's up YouTube, N Zero here, and I got another Card Fight Vanguard opening. This time we got the new uh, Phantasmal Steed Restoration. I am super excited for this one just because Mordred Phantom, the Revengers, Pale Moons, uh, Silverthorn, and uh, yeah, super cool. Uh, really like this set, or I liked what was in this set a lot, uh, primarily because it's... Uh, it's they have a lot of my or half the clans are my favorites so and uh, yeah I can make a dark regular deck if I want to I already have a Murakumo if anything it's gonna improve that budget type style of deck for Murakumo so I'm hoping to get Mordred Phantom the, the Pale Moon and we also get a we also do get a campaign for the Force, or no, the Imaginary Gift 2 series, so, uh, looks like we got the, uh, Excel, the Murakuma one, and hopefully we can get a good Force Marker from this. Yep, we do. Awesome. As I'm slowly ruining the card. These, these, uh, markers always look really cool. I got a feeling I'm going to buy a lot of this box just because Shadow Paladins are going to disappear for a while with the whole Shin arc. Yep, I kind of bent it, but it's alright. Still pretty decent shape. But yeah, look at that. I really like that. Uh, put it in my, uh, my Kagero deck that I have. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Really like that. And we got our packs, which I can't wait to make a lot of decks with these. I still have a makeshift Murakumo and Dark Irregular deck, so maybe commons from this can improve it. So hopefully I can get Mordred Phantom uh, and the Revenger stuff and the the Silverthorn. Uh, Alright, got Dead Knife Juggler, Nightmare Doll Beverly, Shadow Shift Dragon, uh, Stealth Beast Cat Rogue, Uptrend Stealth Rogue Kiyuchi, Nightmare Doll Ellen, and Stealth Special Stealth Beast Weasel Yellow. Getting to this. Warlike po Poisoner. Special Stealth Beast Weasel White. Okay. Silverthorn Beast Tamer uh, Shada. Cursed Doctor. Silverthorn Barking Dragon. New tr crit trigger. Silverthorn Beast Tamer Dorian. And Witch of X. Tier Patient Beira. Uh, backup uh, perfect guard if you need it. Uh, I do recommend it because uh, sometimes the draw PG is not exactly cheap and it's a good because it has this extra ability now. So that's why I recommend it. You can throw away the old PGs because they're practically useless. Uh, Silverthorn Assistant, uh, Ino Yella, Nella, Stealth Rogue of the of Breaking Smash Miyako. I believe Miyako means beauty. Uh, Stealth Fiend Ogre Spider, uh, Blitz Ritter, Hysterical Sherry, Shirley, uh, Variants Killer Tail, and. Transient Revenger Masquerade. Yes! Now I just need three more. Which I'll probably buy a lot more boxes of this. And just uh, recently it's just... Uh, the boxes are just, are just too expensive right now. I'm waiting for, the, for the price to go down, really. Of 
Cool Bow, Devil in Shadow, which is the new starter for Dark Regular, which looks actually pretty cool. Stealth Beast Blazin, Blazin Ape, Stealth Fiend Yuki Hime, Dark Knight of Nightmare Land, which that looks really cool, to be honest. Uh, Gloomy Crescent, it's a Shadow Paladin, and Bear, or Barrier Troop Revenger Dorant. Sweet. Another Revenger. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the right box so far. Because I'm going to redo my Shadow Paladin deck in a major way. Uh, Silverthorn Assistant I Ino Yell. No. Stealth Rogue of Multitude Sanji. Silverthorn Rising Dragon. A Dead Knife Juggler. A Basilar. Silverthorn Beast Tamer Dorian. And another Witch of Expertation Beira. Uh, Crisis Revenger Fritz. He looks, he's a way cooler looking starter than the, I think it was Full Bow for the original starter. Yeah, I'm definitely replacing it with him because he looks way cooler. Uh, Variants Mega Wing. Super Stealth Beast. Uh, Weasel, Weasel Blue. Dark Knight of Stealth Rogue Clog. Stealth Beast Cat Rogue, uh, Stealth Fiend One Eyed Niudo, and Nightmare Doll Carol. I'll take it because it's Pale Moon. And I can probably make like two different decks with all the Pale Moon cards I have. Make a Nightmare Doll and a Silver Thorn Pale Moon deck. Evil Eye Artist. Rigor Twister, Silverthorn Beast Tamer Shada, Warlike Poison Poisoner, Uptrend Stealth Rogue Kiyuchi, Lacerate Crescent, and Variant Shutarm. Alright. Cool Bow. Ogre Fiend, or Stealth Fiend Ogre Spider, Stealth Rogue of Multitude Sanji, Stealth Fiend Yukihime, Dark Knight of Nightmare Land, uh, Silverthorn Conjurer Rami, which is pretty cool looking actually. And we got the other Revenger brother, I guess, Frontline Revenger Cloudus. Sweet. So Dorant and I think it combines, which is really appropriate because I have, I'm using, I'm currently using the Shadow Paladin Legion mat from uh, Requiem of, at Dusk, so that's pretty cool. It's a very fitting mat for this occasion. So, all right, halfway there. I really, I'm really liking this set. Hope it improves. Uh, special Stealth Beast Weasel White, Nightmare Doll Beverly, Devil in Shadow, Blitz Ritter, Hysterical Shirley, uh, Knight of Authority Denman, and Yellow Bolt. It's a triple rare for Dark Irregulars, which I would never have guessed. Alright. Shadow Shifter Dragon, Stealth Rogue of Break Smash Miyaku, Miyako, Silverthorn Assistant Ino Nella, Curse Doctor, Silverthorn Barking Dragon, uh, Stealth Fiend Kerf uh, Buki, and Stealth Rogue of Summoning Jiraiya. Probably won't use him. He'd be like extra. Alright. 
Rigger Twister, Stealth Rogue of Multitude Sanji, Variants Mega Wing, Rainbow Magician, Silver Thorn Beast Tamer Surge, uh, Stealth Fiend, One Eyed Niudo, and our, oh, this is the Vanguard Rare. Sweet. Silver Thorn Dragon Tamer uh, Luquer. I did not know it because it felt ex almost like a like a rare at first. It kind of does actually. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, yeah. Look at the, the texture on it. It's actually kind of weird. This part, like the shiny part, feels like uh, like a regular double rare, which is kind of making me sad a little bit. But this part is actually. The texture, her legs. I don't know if you can see it. Anything that's not shiny, like reflective, is is like that. But yeah, that's the Vanguard rare. Totally threw me off because uh, it it feels like a like a just a rare. You know that sticky stuff on it that keeps cards stuck together when you're opening doing these openings. Stealth Beast Blazing Ape, Icicle Resistance, uh, Death, Dead Knife Juggler, Rainbow Magician, Silverthorn Beast Tamer Surge, and Knight of Ser Revity du Dubdrin, and Dilute Dancer Ethiel, which is for Pale Moon. Man, these, these names are getting to me. Probably because I'm too excited, to be honest. So, <clears throat> alright, Fiend Light of Insincerity, Sked Secknail, S Special Stealth Beast, Blue Weasel, or Weasel Blue, Silverthorn Rising Dragon, Candy Clown, Grim Revenger, which is cool, I need a new crit trigger, uh, Variance Drag Form, and number of terror. Interesting. All right. Let's do this. Evil Eye Artist. Ice School Resistance. Stealth Fiend Ogre Spider. Candy Clown. Grim Revenger. Lacerate Crescent, and yes, we got we got the Vanguard, both Vanguards that I that I wanted. Uh, Illusionary Revenger, Mordred Phantom. Oh man, that's awesome. I got it was a fifty. Like the odds of getting both of the Vanguard rares that you wanted are pretty low, but that's awesome. That I got both of the Vanguard raids I wanted. The Quare and uh, Mordred Phantom. Which is awesome. Alright. Demon, Wor Demon World Castle F End Fort. Explosion Clown. Uh... Masago Stealth Rogue Gomin, which is the next start, the new starter for Murakumo. Uh, Death Feather Eagle, Hal Al. Uh, Mage of In Intensity Math. And Silverthorn Marionette Lillian, which is awesome. Man, this is a. This is a very, this is probably the best, it's my only box, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best box. Like, no box can beat this after this, to be honest. I mean, maybe if I get the XV rare, the X Vanguard rare. But, so far this is the best box. Uh, Giga Tent Tech Enforcer, which is the Shadow Paladin variant. Because last set, uh, Aerial Steed Liberation. Royal Paladin's got one of these. And he's here's the dark counterpart, I guess. Variants Hard Leg. 
Crisis Revenger Fritz, Abyss Healer, uh, Dark Knight Stealth Rogue Clog, uh, Appalling Thread, and Silverthorn Breathing Dragon. Man, this, yep, this box was probably the best one so far. And I'm, just, you know, prelude uh, to my future videos on this particular box because I got a lot of Pale Moon stuff, which is awesome. Uh, some, some of the others, but mostly uh, Pale Moon and Shadow Paladin. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, only one Murakumo and two are Dark Regular, but a lot of Pale Moon and Shadow Paladin. So that was a really good box. I, I really like that box. So and the best part is uh, I got the two Vanguard rares that I wanted. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting more boxes of this. Uh, and when Ariel Steed, either the, uh, the Gancelots, unless those go down to like less than seven bucks, which I doubt, uh, I'll keep getting more boxes of Ariel Steed Liberation, but. Uh, right now, I'm super hyped for this particular set, so I'm going to get a lot more of this. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you really enjoy. There's no way you can top this unless I get, like, one of those XVRs. So, hopefully, I can get those in a future box. But this has so far been the best box, even though it's the only opening so far. So, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.